Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Hermitcraft server with your goat. How you doing? Oh man, how I miss saying that. Man, it sucks to be sick. I guess you heard by now, right? I caught the Rona for the first time now. It was not so bad, uh, but for two weeks I had stuffed nose. Oh, literally for two weeks my nose was running. It was the most annoying thing ever. Other than that, not many more symptoms, but yeah, my voice was uh, ruined and I uh, just... Uh, anyways, I'm happy it's over. And then, you know, right afterwards, all of a sudden I get the worst toothache I ever had. Uh, a crazy run. But finally, we're back up and running and I'm so happy because, you know, there's so many things I need to do. Plans, plans, plans. And then you, you sit there with your running nose and think, man, I just want to play Minecraft, but can't because, you know, everybody tells you, hey, take it serious, you need to recover, which I did. I just, you know, did one thing in the meantime. I built a little sandbox for Doki so they can play, you know. But then I, I, I did it slowly. It was not really exhausting, but I felt pretty bad for two days afterwards. <laughs> Anyways, I'm doing fine again. And uh, as we always do at the beginning of the episodes, yes, the tradition is still alive. I didn't forget in the two weeks I couldn't do an episode. Ta-da! Thumbnail of the week. Man, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Look at that. Kai, a.k.a. Minecape. We uh, featured him before or them uh, before already. Made this amazing piece. The anvil war never stops. Look at how cool, cool I look, man. <sighs> Evil, squashing other hermits with anvils. <sighs> yeah, I love it. Such a great piece. And uh, yeah, already like three weeks ago, before I got sick, um, I asked. Okay, if I can use that and uh, they were fine. So um, as usual, check out all the links in the video description. Show some love to our artists. Maybe you have a commission for them or something, you know. But also just sharing their artwork helps a lot. So make sure to check out the links, right? Pablamo, what do we want to do today? Well, um, I could tell that Scar was on a lot in the past two weeks. And yeah, it definitely shows. My God. That castle is big. Does it have a backside? That's the deciding question. <laughs> Does it actually have a backside? Oh man. It sure does. Holy moly. Wow. Yeah, I could tell. Um, Scar was on a lot because, yeah, when I locked on, finally, after like about two weeks or so, I, uh, yeah, the first thing I always do, quickly come over here and, um, yeah, make sure the dragon is still in position. And the dragon had shifted, like, yeah, a hundred blocks uh, this direction, so I needed to lock in and off quite a bit. Um, yeah, but before we do anything more, um, Grian and Scar asked to meet with me and they said they'd be around very shortly. I shouldn't do anything before they log on. So, yeah, that's uh, very suspicious. But let's see what they have to say. Oh, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Hey, <laughs> what's up? Hey, hold on, let me. Oh, let me Doc, it's so good to see you. <laughs> it me sounds Scar suspicious. Were <laughs> no, no, no. Me and Scar no. were hanging around with the base, uh, ha hanging around your base, and we kept finding new things, and we were wondering if you could give us, like, a brief tour. A tour? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so sus. Um... No, it's not! <laughs> All right. Oh, no, my goodness There's gracious. There's nothing weird about me and Look Scar at the diamonds. for a tour. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, so here uh, is my arena, I guess. Uh-huh. I, I play games here, TCG. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mike. Dude, it's I ingenious, even... honestly. It reminds me of those this 90s many diamonds? phones that were invisible. I can show Scott, you. Scott, have you even looked? I know, dude. That's so many. God, yeah, you're so, so rich. Kind of. Handsome. And hands, hand, and handsome. Yeah. What are you? Yeah. <laughs> right. Should we should we start this tour? Yeah. Yeah. Let's start the tour, Doc. All right. Uh, so here is my amazing TCG arena with all the diamonds. 
God, uh, that's impressive. Haven't logged on in two weeks as I was sick, as you maybe know and hear a little bit still. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you sound? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? He sounds amazing. He does sound great. You you sound great for two weeks off, you know, feeling ill. You're back to full health. Got a good immune system. You're, mm-hmm. What is... All right. Um, <laughs> down below us, we have a drowned farm I recently built. It was a huge grind. Mm-hmm. Oh, I could use tridents at some point if I can Oh, yeah. Use I have so, yeah. tons. You can have some. Oh, oh I don't well, need them. Great. Oh, it's Never could always... have even imagined something like yeah. that. It's just incredible. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> over, <laughs> Could, over there, over there. I have my uh, my creeper farm. All right. Oops. It's uh, it's there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you render yep, that yep, far? Yep. Yes. Yes. Here. Beautiful. It's my creeper farm. Oh my farm. god! Look at the ingenuity, Grian. The ingenuity of this. Wow. Look at that redstone skill. I know. My god. Methods, just incredible. Methods made it. I just uh, copied exactly what he told me to do, <laughs> but it works. You copied it so well. Um, I guess so well. Yeah. Nobody could have copied it better. No. no. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And then over there, um, we can fly this way, maybe. Yeah. Wait. Hold on, Doc. Yes. Have you lost weight? Wait. A little yeah. ill scar, don't bring that up. Yeah, I've been ill. Uh, I lost <laughs> I lost three kilograms, something like six pounds in freedom units, in case you wondered. Yeah, 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 man. Mm-hmm. I, it shows, it shows. You don't got like a little spring in your step, scar. you know? Come on. <laughs> uh, continue. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so continue the tour. Like, I'm mesmerized. This way. Uh, here is my banner. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like the curvature on that. Good curves. Good curves, Doc. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, really sure. Nice. Strong and proud yeah. flag. My dragon's up there, chilling, right? Mm-hmm. I, had to I, look. I'd al- I always say, like, a pet is a reflection of its owner, you know? Like, you got jelly, <laughs> Doc's got a, a dragon. Pretty cool, you know? Majestic, you know? Ma- exactly. Mm-hmm. Shows the strength. It also re- requires Powerful. requires mm. a lot of caretaking. You know, every day I mm. should log on and bring him back into perfect position. Is it drifting? Yeah, it was drifting. It was in the middle of the perimeter when I logged on this morning after two weeks, because Ooh. Scar was on a lot and uh, was building over at the castle and loading the area. Mm-hmm. And Cleo with the armor stands. Yes. What armor stands? She's gone crazy. It's amazing. Ah, okay, okay. You'll have to look at it later. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think it'd be something really nice and wholesome to do later. All right. And then, yeah, okay. over there, here, yeah. the main base, pretty much. Mm-hmm. An architectural... And what, what's going here? Oh, it's just, I don't know, storage room and kind of main base vibes, you cool. know. Storage room I have down here. Back there is my honey farm. And got some, some iron farms going. Yeah, storage room down here. Hey, is this the same thing as the Ethos got? Um, this is a, the, sp- a speed the craft. Item, item finder thing. Now, that's a speed crafting system. Like, if you need uh. to craft a million pistons, you can, um, you know, it's like a crafting table if you look from on top and you put the recipe in here and then you just stand over there and then it goes really fast. Okay, that's cool. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Everybody yeah, should that have is, something. That's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Everybody should have something like this in their base. Speed craft. Yeah, I just, I just get frustrated. That's how I cope with those situations. Yeah. But the problem is, Doc, we're just not as smart as you are. Mm-hmm. Well, and handsome. I got a lot of people helping me. You know, it's not mm-hmm. like a one man thing. I love the cats, Doc. I yeah. love the cats. It's a creeper protection system, as you never know, because the worst thing that could happen is something blowing up here in the storage system. That Look, would be awful. It all has neat categories. Here's everything. Bird. I just don't think that would ever happen, Doc. With your with your PvP and reflex skills, like you would just that creeper would be have its head on the ground. Exactly. How did oh, you know that? Mm. Mm-hmm. Doc, you just give off the essence. <laughs> You're weird, man. What the heck? Is... Um, okay. Um, and then yeah, I mean the perimeter as such with all kinds of stuff. And the latest project is over there. Um, to your right, if we fly this way, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, 
go here. Here. Ooh. Uh -huh. But you can't talk about that, right? That's the first rule of the Anvil Club. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is my Anvil, intercontinental Anvil cannon, where I can launch Anvils. Um, He's got a doomsday device. <laughs> kind of. He's got it. <laughs> but you can't tell yeah. anyone. Danger. Yeah. It's a good good job you haven't made enemies with anyone, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, then some other small stuff. I mean, but that's... Uh, I heard... Uh, did I hear some wardens? Oh, yeah, wardens. Right, yeah, you asked where the diamonds came from. Right, I can show you. Ow. So... Whoa, that's a big hole right there. That's yeah. terrifying. That's Whoa. where the diamonds come from. Where is... Why is there... A chest. Uh, okay. Anyways, that's very okay. Yeah, and if but you why fly wardens, wardens, because um, they count to the mob cap and don't despawn, and therefore you can have a really nice mob switch. Like if you fly a bit uh, down this tunnel, we can see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. So you see here is. So how many wardens are there if it's taking up the mob cap? Eighty. Eighty. Eighty wardens and. Yeah. Wait, how do you control them? Um, I have them in a, in a little choo-choo train, kind of. <laughs> I love trains. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been this running this so for a while. This is so impressive, Doc. Thank you. <laughs> You've uh, outdone yourself. I mean, this is... Jeez, it What is going. it? Like, are, are we having, hey, let's be nice to your fellow hermit week or so? What is going on, oh, man? Oh, Doc. What we do you mean? We're always you. this nice. What? We're always so nice. We're always really nice. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> no. Did I mention that you're handsome? Oh my. How did this happen? <laughs> I banged it too many times. I'm sorry. It was my fault. Did the wardens... Are the wardens still... Okay, the wardens are... are okay. Oh, they're okay. Hey, Doc, Doc, come here. No, 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 Doc, we tried, we tried, we tried, we tried. What the? <laughs> you tried you to. You blew up my tunnel for. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Doc, look. Green tried two two things. Look, look at these things. Look, look at the redstone, Doc. He I'm tried really sure hard. There's stuff there. <laughs> how? What? How, this should be. How can you even blow that up? How did you. Uh, wasn't, it wasn't Green or Scar proof. <laughs> Wait. Uh, here, look, here, wait. here, Doc, give it a bang. Look, Scar, give it a bang. Scar made one. Sc Scar made one. Look, here, they've yeah. got a replacement. Yeah, give it a bang. There you go. Oh, yeah. God, no! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I thought the coral made it go flying. Uh, Dang it. <laughs> I, I <laughs> don't it go flying, Scar! I don't... You said it needed coral to make it dupe and fly. <laughs> wait, so <laughs> you clicked it too fast, I guess? Or what? You clicked it once uh, and then clicked it again. I mean, surely no creeper blew up here or so, right? Like, I mean, you never know. I mean, there is a yeah, hole in the ceiling. Know. I mean, my God. I, I mean, who's know. who's to say what happened or who's to blame? But the point is, we did our best. Mm -hmm. that yeah, did our best. I I see. See, you, look at these random stone contraptions. I mean, what is this here? <laughs> is this your way to say sorry? <laughs> it's a peace yeah. offering. Peace offering? You want to meet peace offering? No, no, come here, Doc. This come is eternal look. war. <laughs> you know, it all started when Green touched my redstone. He I didn't touch it. <laughs> it wasn't my... Scar? Oh, uh, okay. It's a nice food. It's, it's nice. It's a... Yeah, look at those fun, fun, fun things inside that box. They're wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well... Uh, um... <laughs> While he gets worked up, should we uh, skedaddle? Yeah, yeah, I think, um, uh, I think bye, I think we, gotta, we gotta go, Doc. See you later. Have a great time. Wow. Wait, there's a hole. Why is there a hole up here? What happened here? What the? What did they do? What?
You know I won't let okay, that. You, you know, you know, oh, I, he's, he's here. you know I won't <laughs> let that slide, right? You know I don't. I'm not, not gonna let that slide. No way. You, you regret that. You regret that. Oh. I blame you guys. I blame you guys. You're always like, oh dog, come on, you're overreacting. Overreacting. Why do you build a gigantic creeper launching cannon to intimidate Green so they don't come over? Oh, why? Why do you build a giant mech goat? Oh, there's no reason to do so. They will not do anything. Oh. You got to be kidding me. They blew up the tunnel bore. Oh, and I died in that stupid tunnel. Oh my god. They put a pile of... You know, what do I do with diamond blocks? I mean, there's some cool stuff with there. Rare albino mohawk. <laughs> B-double-O. And then the googly eye with glasses B-double-O. I mean, those are some seriously rare. And then, like, a huge stash of food. Which is, um, of course, also very nice. And then all the balloons. Who can be mad about balloons? Oh. Oh wow, okay, I need to I need to try that on. I need to try that on. Give me that. Alright. Carved pumpkin. <laughs> it is cute. I have to admit. But <sighs> no. Even cat ear. Like what what was this? Weird sound. No, no, cat ears will not. There's some TCG cards in there. Well, okay then. What is that? Rare invisibility potion. Mm. Totem of Undying. Mm. They blew up the freaking tunnel bore. And left this giant hole here. Why? Mm. How? How on earth? You guys be always like, haha, come on, the green proof. That's a meme. It's not a meme. What is this? Why is there all kinds of random stuff? A bad. Like what did they do? Did they try to live down here? There's light everywhere. They lighten stuff up. Although nothing should be. At least the wardens are safe. Roadblock is still playing all good. Yeah. Should be able to fix it. I mean, good thing is that part parts of the machine kind of st uh, stayed in place and I can use that as kind of, you know, orientation where to rebuild it. So that's kind of cool. And most of the of these uh, are still in place so yeah. But I guess 80% or 90% of the machine blew up. <laughs> Man. Bro. I'm still in, in shock. I'm still in shock. We need to figure out how we take revenge for that. Bro, there's so many Messers had something crazy the other day. I need to talk to him. Hmm. Didn't want to reveal it yet. But this might be the best reason to do so. At least the warns didn't escape. Because somebody was smart enough, just in case somebody would blow up the tunnel bore, to put them far enough back. Okay. This is not a good start to my comeback to the server. I had completely different plans. I have so many projects I need to work on. We're gonna rebuild that now. Wait. Wait a second. Oh. I didn't even see that. That's the dragon egg. Wow. Okay. <laughs> they must have really felt sorry. <laughs> question is, is it the one and only dragon egg or is it a duped version? 
Never know. Can't trust these fools. Cat balloons. <sighs> I need to chill a bit, man. Maybe we build something. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Maybe we can work on the anvil cannon a little bit. While we think about our revenge. Ah, working a little bit on redstone definitely helps to calm my nerves. <laughs> what is cool to see though, Stress and Iskial are back on the server, which is cool. Um, I was watching Iskial's video he released and yeah, he had a little bit of vanilla burnout and was working hard on his mod pack, or you can almost say on his game, right, uh, Vault Hunters. So yeah, but uh, it looks like they're both back in... <laughs> quite funny. <laughs> Welcome back, Stress. And indeed, the dragon at spawn was actually drifting over Stress Monster's base. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that now. Welcome back, Stress. Welcome back. You know, nothing unusual. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Um, I've been working on an anvil magazine. Um, removed all the anvils uh, from the cannon at the moment. You know, remember, we had this giant stack of anvils up here, like... I don't know, uh, over 130 30 anvils. And if we want to disguise the place... Oh, yeah, let me quickly grab those. I was doing some testing. Um, we want to make sure our anvils don't stick up uh, too much, right? I mean, <laughs> um, right now, um, this magazine will be roughly this high, but we can probably f uh, squeeze five more anvils on the stack in there. And it's a pretty clever system. And yeah, I'm about to test it now. So we can have anvils uh, stacked up here, up to, I would say, 30 at the moment, but it can be more if you had more space. But uh, with our situation, maybe tops 30 per slice. We have five slices that gives us 150. I will settle for 100 for now. So we would have five slices with 20. And yeah, here we got 20 and um, here we got three because I want to do some testing for the system real quick. So yeah, we keep track of how many anvils are being dispensed uh, with a counter right here. It's set to three at the moment. And when the system counted three, it will switch to the next lane and start dispensing, you know, the next uh, layer here. Obviously, all the anvil numbers needs to be the same so the counter doesn't get confused and switches over in time. But, you know, for testing, we put three so we don't have to go through 20 anvils here. So, um, yeah, let's trigger here real quick and see if it works. And yes, we have an anvil bouncing over here. A lot of stuff happening. It's really quick. Um, obviously, you cannot just simply push anvils around uh, with pistons. You need to use some clever mechanics. And one good mechanic is to bounce them while they are in entity form over a um, yeah, bubble column here. And then send them up a bubble column. And then we can stack them back on top um, in the cannon magazine. So we will come up here and yeah, put the anvils on top here. And feed the cannon from below and not from above. Uh, but yeah, let's let's check it out. I'll go over here, and uh, then I just um, yeah, let's look from here, and then we can see what's happening. Maybe here. Okay, I'll press, and will gets dropped, and boom, <laughs> makes it into the chute over here. So it gets bounced along here, and we accelerate it um, with the slime pusher here. Let's look from here. Trigger. And will falls down, and in just the right moment, we accelerate it over. And now the system actually switched. Um, and yeah, the second layer here is active now. And if we trigger now again, we should trigger from the next layer. Let's quickly check. Yeah, this is reset. Um, now we have 20 in, so we should probably put, put a few more items in. We put 20 then. In the end, and now, um, yeah, if we trigger the system again, yes, we take from the second layer, and so on. So we could cycle through until all five layers are done. And then we have the detection system up in the cannon and letting us know our magazine is empty. So, yeah, pretty much just need to build uh, um, a water chute up there to get the anvils up, and then we launch them over with a piston. And then we load everything and hook it up to the cannon right here. Every time we trigger the cannon, the magazine will trigger and send a new anvil up. Um, and then, um, yeah, we calmed our nerves a bit. But <laughs> calming nerves is one thing. We need to have calm nerves because, uh, yeah, 
We also need to play some TCG, the TCG World Championships. We're in the semifinals versus one of the hardest opponents you could imagine, ESO. And I haven't had no time at all to do deck building or anything. I don't even know which cards I have anymore. All right, I'm over here at the TCG theory crafting room and, you know, um, semi-final match with ESO. In TCG, lays ahead and, yeah, we need to change strategy. But before we do that, some epic news from the TCG front and I think this is the coolest thing ever. Probably the coolest thing Hermitcraft ever did when it comes to yeah, the, the realms of merch or, you know, fan stuff that can be yeah, used to, to have fun and whatnot. It's so cool. So, you know, TCG really um, yeah, was dear to our heart and especially to Beeves because he put a lot of work into it. And actually Beef. <laughs> yeah, made it a reality. There is a IRL TCG, there's a trading card game. Um, I will link to Beef's video where he explains everything. Um, there you get all the info and links and so on. You'll find it in the video description here. Make sure to check it out. But it's super, super cool. And um, yeah, there are rare cards and we will also sign uh, individual cards. And there is actually some reveal trailers. <laughs> Beef even went that far to show off um, yeah, the special hermit cards. And here it is, my clip. Check it out. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, baby, the epic rare dog card. <laughs> Lotterigo made that, you know, one of the fan artists um, that also contributed here in the series with some fan art uh, for the thumbnails. And yeah, now Beef actually hired them and a few other fan artists uh, to create these amazing cards. And yeah, yeah, it's a reality now. And uh, it's so epic. I can't wait. Of course, I ordered uh, me a few packs as well. And also, uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, Beef will send me a few and I will sign some and then send them back to Beef and they will end up in the actual uh, packages that get sold. So there is a chance to get a rare signed Hermit card. Um, maybe not all Hermits um, will sign them, but uh, quite a bunch of us already said, yeah, of course, let's do that. So yeah, talking about TCG, um, of course, uh, the strategy needs to be changed as we play ESO. We know ESO will try to counter our Builder deck probably, and he will do that by using Iskial, which does double damage against all builders. Um, so we can't play builder, that is burned, especially as Iso was there when we last used the deck in the quarterfinals. So, well, I was just, you know, there's probably better decks to build, but I'm looking through my card stash. Uh, what do I have available? And um, yeah, I ended up with the farm type uh, hermits here. First, um, you know, we have, we don't want to change much of our standard setup. Still gonna run stress, you know, uh, together with efficiency, the chest combo and so on. Our basic setup of uh, rare and ultra rare items we are allowed to use. Um, but we will spice it up and uh, just switch out uh, to farm type. Um, I had 12 um, builder items, so we're just gonna put 12... Uh, farm items in there to yeah, keep the balance of the deck. And then we got decent, decent cards here as well. I mean, we got a fairly tanky Zizuma with 300 and we get 60 damage out with only one piston. So that is decent. And then I threw in Impulse, um, which is cheap and not so super tanky, but you know, um, just a, another halfway decent um, yeah, common farmer type card. And then I have my two rares. Ideally, I would like to have had two of the dogs because that's a pretty decent card. I mean, the World Eater can do up to 160 damage if you're lucky with the draw. Although it can also fall down to 40 if you miss the draw. So it's a kind of a hit or miss card, but still kind of poetic, uh, wouldn't it be, <laughs> if I could beat Etho using my own rare card. And um, yeah, as I don't have two dogs, I uh, threw in the Tango, which is a little bit more tanky even. As the Skadoodle, 50 attack, cheap and expensive attack for a hundo is extra flea. And it has this nice, annoying ability that if you use that, um, you know, you uh, force the Hermit you targeted to AFK. 
So yeah, and I also will have to switch uh, switch out. So it could be an interesting combo if you hit Tango, then four switch into stress uh, for a kill shot. Um, you know the rare stresses I will keep in the deck, and um, yeah, that should be it. That should be a proper 42 card deck here, and um, yeah, that should be it. And I think this is what we're gonna run versus Etho. And of course, uh, Etho will also run Stress Monster for sure. For sure. So um, we shall see. It will be a tight match. Maybe he comes up with a surprise strategy, plays something completely different. But at least, yeah, 42 cards. We're playing something he doesn't know exactly. That is important. So we put the deck here and then, um, yeah, I'll clean up here a little bit, put my builder cards away. So, yeah, hopefully that is enough. Um, it will hopefully be a tight and exciting match. But, yeah, ESO is unpredictable. Might have some aces up his sleeve. That's for sure. Alrighty, the Anvil magazine is done and fully hooked up to the setup. Everything should be fine. So here we're connecting to the cannon and this is one of the triggers of the lower TNT dupers. We can sneak out a signal here and yeah, send it into here. And um, yeah, we just go down and trigger our magazine. So every time we shoot, one of the anvils will be picked. We start with this slice here first and then we work our way over. We've got a hundred shots in there. And then, yeah, just stuff going up the bubble column here when the anvil is in entity form. And yeah, then uh, when it makes it all the way up, it triggers this string here, which triggers, uh, you know, the slime block launcher, which will shoot the anvil right there where this one sits and always replaces this one here. So that's one above, you know, the shut off switch for the farm so that it's all right. And if we run out of anvils uh, here, the piston will still extend if this magazine runs dry and uh, shut down the cannon. So yeah, same functionality, but everything more neat. And of course you could use a setup like this, um, you know, uh, to also have uh, an anvil magazine for your enchanting. Right, I mean, that is um, obviously cool, you know, for your enchanting room or your, um, yeah, where you use your anvils. When your anvil gets used up, you can automatically detect that and then just have a magazine like this and, you know, replace it, put an anvil there um, instead. Here, um, you know, all the complicated stuff, this is just counting. In the end, it's this redstone circuit here. You have a sticky piston there and there, and you send. A, a signal in there that you get from an observer, right? Uh, so you come through and triggers here, one tick delay, one tick delay, just goes around like that and that will cause uh, the anvil to be bounced along here. And yeah, then you just need some way of retracting and that is simply done with this setup here. Um, but in the end it's just extended pistons and you need to retract them once shortly. So you can do that um, with the same redstone here. You know, here we trigger and we go over here, come through, and here's where we have a connection via um, yeah, those target blocks, and then send us a quick signal through a quick pulse to retract this piston arm real quick. And this way, yeah, you can have a lot of anvils in a compact space and store them. You know, then you just bounce them here on these uh, bubble columns and then, you know, put them wherever you want. Cannot transport them infinitely. Uh, at some point, of course, after a minute, they will turn back into item form. But you know, normally you wouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't take you that long. So yeah, everything is uh, clear now here. I also replaced the uh, the floor here with half slabs at some point uh, before um, I got sick. Um, but yeah, uh, in about 30 minutes, um, the big match will happen. The GOAT versus ESO TCG World Championship semi-finals and um, yeah, I think uh, we will up the ante a little bit. <laughs> uh, I think uh, the semi-finals should be played with Anvil mode activated. <laughs> Just making sure everything works here fine. Yeah, Chunk loading grid is still working. Um, the magazine 
is also inside our loaded area. Wireless redstone should be working. Okay, so I guess I'll just wait for ESO and then we're ready to slay the giant. <laughs> oh man, this will be a tough match. <sighs> All right, here we go. ESO. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, deck check, Scar. Uh, Scar, I'm saying cup. Man, I love your hair. Match, my prediction hair is my prediction. Doc went prankster with the, the stresses. And he's probably got three TFCs in there. He's probably got two Hypnos and one ultra rare TFC, right? Right? <laughs> and that's uh, oh, got you know, it. Oh, that's oh, no comment. I read him like that. Potentially an option oh. I could play with my deck, but yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. awful lot of silence. Maybe there's some some something completely else going on. Who knows? Oh, really? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, for like sure it's not. Thing? Uh, for no, it's just uh, for sure not builder. <laughs> so you can't play your Iskel. Well, so that's. Uh, that's okay, a, Doc, you're good? You're yeah, good? Yeah, yeah. Ito? Oh, man. I'm rusty, man. I was sick. I know. We haven't played in forever. Oh, yeah. No mistakes. Focus, focus, focus. Now so my toothache like, is kicking in. Oh, yeah. Rules. B-dubs, you got my back, right? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Jeff, I got 32 diamonds on Doc. <laughs> what is the side bets going on? Wow. <laughs> this guy, man. I, I'll, I'll take that bet. I'll take that bet. Uh, 32 on All right, Ito. then. All right, then. Oh, Ito, wow. don't let me down. Joe, you, you have my back, oh, at least. Man. Right? I, I, I have just your back, and I'm not though. gambling, because I believe in the purity of the trading card game. <laughs> That's, right. That's nice. That's We're nice. We're here to make diamonds. I got Ito. <laughs> I'm here to make memories, Jeff. Money <laughs> in the barrel. Oh, I don't have any diamonds with me. Oh, that's uh, it's taking Goodness suspiciously sake. long to check this deck. Is it legit? It's a complex good? deck, you know. Oh, no, you're, good. Nice. you're good. I'll give you guys your foils back here. Thank By the you. way, did you guys know that there are real life TCG cards available for pre purchase? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Creo dot, creocards.com. Yeah. 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 Say what? <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Are yes. you ready, Doc M? Ethan, are you ready? As ready as I can be, I I'm, guess. I'm good to go. Okay. All right. This TCG no semi final match. Or goat. <laughs> who advanced to the finals against XP begins Ooh, right now. Ooh, baby. TCG. You Easy as one, two, three. One, two, three. TCG, baby. You and me. Hey, dude, that definitely takes off the edge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got to reveal first. Okay, we need to check if we have legit decks. I do, unfortunately, have a legit deck. I also unfortunately do. Can I get a redraw <laughs> by chance? Mullion. Yeah. No. Play it as it lies. Play it as it lies. Uh, yikes. This is the worst hand I have seen yet. Okay. Um, yeah, you got to reveal first. first what I got to play, play one down? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Stress goes down on the board. Okay. That is very dangerous for me. Extremely dangerous. Ooh, so what's he got? What's he got? I only got one hermit. What is this? Oh yeah. Is that a is that the Jev strat coming out? Oh my god. Mm. What is happening? <sighs> okay. Um I cannot attack, right? As I'm first. Yeah. Correct. You can't attach items and uh, armor. But stuff, I can also. I could also pull cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can put items so, on. Yeah, definitely. Here, I'm gonna play fishing rod. All right. Put it on there. All oh, right. Snap. Draw two items. Okay. There you go. There's one. There's two. All this right. is a rough start for us, Dot. You had no items. I, I got a stress. Mm-hmm. So now I'm really concerned if you got the efficiency book, it's GG. GG? Oh, man. This is rough. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else I can do. I have to pass over. Ooh, 
this is the worst. You want to know how bad my hand is, Doc? Uh, good enough to have efficiency. <laughs> Flint and steel in it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, <laughs> We're desperate here. Oh, okay. That's 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 a really bad hand, man. Uh, I'm still Burn not everything? feeling safe, though. Oh boy, this is all bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. And the winner goes on to face whom? XB. XB. That's all XB. I can do. It's your turn, Doc. In the finals. Mm -hmm. Okay. XB's been biding his time. He's been rubbing his hands together for the last two weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Saying, oh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Doc is sweating. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Still no I, items? I can play an item, that's for sure. Okay, okay. I got some firepower. And... I think I will play Lava Bucket. All right. Lava Bucket, ho! Oh, man, you sound way too cheerful. Did you pull the efficiency? <laughs> <laughs> he did sound <laughs> happy. Oh, no, Doc. He's <laughs> nervous. Uh, so, yeah, and then... I'm getting in his head here. Attacking with... Scratch. Oh, my days. Is there any synergy, by the way? This is no synergy. Farm. Okay. No. So, so 60 plus the 20 is 80 yeah. from... Uh, 300 is I'm passing down to 220. Huh. Well, remember, I can't just, I, I need a hermit too. Yeah, not, yeah, not I know. Just, I know not uh, just efficiency. So I'm going to play me a uh, stress. Oh. 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 And an efficiency. Oh, no my way. God. I'm really? going to use YOLO oh, to knock man. out both the Zuma and mm. my stress. Did you draw that? Wow. Anymore? I drew it with the flint and steel. Oh my god. Top deck yeah. draws, man. Top deck draws. Thereby <gasps> ending the game. Goodness uh, sakes. Uh, you know, that's uh, the worst. Uh, sweet sweet victory. Up, that's the worst really? that could happen. I pulled the hermit just wow. now. Uh, oh, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's also a stress and I had two efficiency books loaded. In the barrel. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that is that is the only thing I knew. This is the way you could beat me for sure. That was looming <laughs> over both of us, man. I know. Uh, when I only got the one hermit at the start. It's yeah. like, oh, uh, no, it's the worst, it? man. Is it's like, it? come on. And I had no no more card pull, no more draw. I, uh, I was hoping to at least get one. Man, uh, yeah, surviving two rounds with the efficiency books in play is too rough if you can't get hermits out. GG, man. GG, GG. GG. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite the, the long epic game I was hoping for, yeah. but uh, after that what it uh, starting hand, I'm glad it kind of went that way because I knew I was going to lose. Oh, yeah, well, I've, I had to stress out now as well. So, yeah, we, we would have, yeah, Ito, Ito, unlucky, Ito, Ito. but yeah, for, well for played. When I mean, these diamonds, Ooh, there's a little, you, little good luck. Those are my diamonds. Good so luck in the finals. Diamonds. You lost them. <laughs> Thank Throw you, Doc. Thank to the you. finals against play XB. one more. Luck, play guys. one more. You want to do play like a fun one game, Doc? More. Uh, yeah. Or do you want to leave it there? No. Look. I'm done. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Okay. it. laughs> Demoralized. Wow. Oh, That's no. it. I mean, uh, that, that game could have gone either way, Doc. Like, I know. It, 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 like, if I, I would have won. I had no confidence there because, like, same. you could have easily done the same thing to me. Exactly. It was just, yeah. It was just uh, when I saw, oh, God, only one hermit to, to start with. Oh, no. Yeah, that that really made me nervous. I knew it, uh, whoever pulled the efficiency combo first probably won. Uh, yeah, would have won this one. Yeah. What would have happened if... Um, <sighs> He used efficiency with only one hermit. Would it have been a draw? Draw, yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. force oh, a draw. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I would have done that, actually, because yeah. my start was so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Get uh, a new game going just to be safe. I got cards out there. Oh, man. Oh, I was hoping for an epic match. Ah, well. That's how TCG goes. Uh, yeah, make sure to buy the IRL version if you also want to have frustrated matches, frustrating matches like me. <laughs> 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 Well, well, well. Uh, things are not going the goat's way, aren't they? Uh, first, you know, we couldn't play in the uh, perimeter arena because ESO, for some weird reason, has crazy lag issues there. I was thinking maybe it is the bubbles, all the bubbles in the, um, you know, drowned farm. 
also. So I agreed to record over at Cubs Arena. That was already a bad foreshadowing. And then we couldn't use the anvils uh, to spice things up a little bit. Uh, and then, yeah, the worst thing happened. I could only get one hermit out and I was, you know, aware. That is the biggest danger. Isa was using the same strategy, right? Trying to snipe. And you saw how it went. I tried to pull using the fishing rod, but unfortunately couldn't get a hermit. One round later, I got a hermit. I could have prevented instant death. But yeah, that's how it can go. I mean, now it's going to be an exciting final. I'm looking forward to, uh, to watch that. Of course, I would have liked to win, but you know, it's sometimes it's the heart of the cards. Uh, you got to accept it. What I can never accept, though, <laughs> that those fools actually blew up the tunnel bore. <laughs> and looking at that pile of useless blue shiny rocks, that is the epiphany of all of it. They didn't even bother to do the backside of it. And this is how it all started. Green released his video by now and scarred it as well. And I was watching it in... <laughs> yeah, a way... <laughs> Happy, happy uh, anticipation how that even happened. <laughs> and it actually really started because Green w was procrastinating and didn't want to do the backside of his base. <laughs> you know, and then the other hermits came and like, hey, do things. And he was looking for excuses to not finish the backside of his base. And the first excuse they found was, let's go to Doc's tunnel bore. Why ever? And Scar was the instigator with it. Scar was the instigator. He was like, oh yeah, tunnel board, tunnel board, tunnel board. And then they came here and Green was even careful. You know, he just d wanted to look at it and show the ominous long tunnel. They're superstitious, man. They got scared in this tunnel. And there was a nice quote. It was like, this is Doc's world. We just live in it. <laughs> That's right. That was hilarious. Yeah, so they, they come down here and uh, fly around. And then the first crazy thing that happened like scar takes off somewhere from here flies by the tunnel ball launches another rocket while he flies by and uh, unintentionally actually hits the note block here and that <laughs> that was already the first crazy thing um and thankfully he didn't click again and yeah that triggered the the <laughs> tunnel ball for the first time and then it was like oh hey it's working and they are here like mm, three diamonds and it's like oh no 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 and then that that literally like how they literally did the only thing you should not do press the note block quick in quick succession so uh, Korean goes like, whoa, that's amazing. Clicks the note block and Scar goes like, You're right, click. Clicks it right away. Obviously, that triggered uh, the duping uh, mechanism twice. And then, yeah, instant, <laughs> instant evaporation of, uh, yeah, the tunnel bore. <laughs> Their reaction, though, was absolutely hilarious. Like, they stare at it for like two seconds. And then, you know, it sinks in, oh, my God we blew up one of Doc's redstone devices. <laughs> and the panic, <laughs> they flee. I, I, I laughed so much. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I will not let that slide. I mean, no way I'm going to let that slide. I will take revenge. But let's face it, guys. This was amazing entertainment. I mean, even I as yeah, being the victim... <laughs> <laughs> the fear in their voices. And it's a justified fear. <laughs> you know, I will take revenge. I will hit them with the big, big move next time. But uh, we will start messing with them. They actually managed to <laughs> excavate some diamonds here. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, I when they came down the tunnel, they were really easily spooked out and were like, man, this is ominous and blah, blah, blah. So, how do we deal with them? Very simple. We're going to evict them. <laughs> I'm going to haunt them. I have something stored up. I wanted to use it for a while and I want to build it anyways. And I'm going to use it to scare the living crap out of them. First things first, though. I just flew up uh, their escape hatch they made. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> they were generally scared. As they should be. <laughs> Because, you know, today we're gonna start messing with green. Um, a little story time with Doc. Remember shadow technology. The guys that watch me regularly know what I'm talking about. But in short, shadow technology was a really cool exploit that was discovered based on update suppressing. What are you talking about, Magic Man? I don't understand your words. Yeah, well, uh, just no update suppressing uh, what uh, shadow tech was based on was a really, really useful feature. A lot of people in the tech community used and liked um, for all kinds of useful stuff done. Uh, with it. And, um, you know, when I showed Shadow Tech, um, Mojang reacted to that and actually um, tried to remove it as quickly as possible. And the reasoning behind it was, uh, believe it or not, um, um, yeah, I got a chance to talk with a developer or two about it and um, one, one told me, well, uh, it is really cool, to be honest, but we were afraid uh, more people would use it and it would become one of those beloved bugs like... Uh, TNT duping, and then it would be super hard to get away with it or, uh, you know, fix it at some point and people would be mad, so they'd rather fix it quick before everybody really uses it on a large scale. Kind of understandable from a developer's perspective. So I was like, ah, right, okay. I mean, but, uh, you know, they could have easily patched out Shadow Tech without really touching update suppression because update suppression was not something, you know, people just do for fun. It's complicated and uh, was tricky to do. Um, but yeah, the way uh, Mojang fixed the issue was actually patching out update suppression completely. And uh, yeah, as I said, update suppression is a really, really useful feature. You don't want to mm. lose that. You want to keep that um, in-game. And um, yeah, unfortunately then, um, we lost that. And the uh, tech community was thinking, man... That sucks. We want it back. <laughs> so obviously, you know, um, people started to look into it. And um, there were, uh, were, uh, were theoretical concepts of doing it already. But um, whoop, that was a crazy leg spike. Yo. Hmm. Um, but, um, you know, it was not fully fleshed out. And um, still some thinking had to go into it and so on. Um, mm. Why is update suppression useful? For example, portal slicing, right? And then progress was made and people came up with designs that actually did work in a way, but still, um, yeah, not the desired results were achieved, like um, way too clunky, unreliable, b servers be crashing, you know, couldn't really use it. And hope was waning, but, you know, the hive mind one, let me quickly count here, one, two, three... For five, um, six, seven, let's do an eight wide portal, let's say. Doesn't matter in the end. Let's just need a portal here. And let's build up. Let's make a big one. And um, yeah, uh, eventually some designs were made that were actually doable, but you know, um, way more complicated and harder to pull off than actual um, yeah, update suppression. Way harder. And um, yeah, it was not really useful. Eventually, though, um, research continued and uh, a few days ago, there was the final breakthrough. <laughs> What you see behind me now is all you need to update suppress, quote-unquote, but it's a new technology. It's called Update Skipping. <laughs> Uh, so before, you needed to build a giant update suppressor, a giant thing, right? And it was very complicated. Nobody could do it. And Mojo was like, oh, man, we need to patch it out. This could be a, become a problem. Everybody will be update suppressing. Well, what they got out of it now is this. <laughs> this really everybody can do. But yeah, um, let's prime that bad boy. You see, we have a composter here, a co um, um, comparator. Uh, to redstone bits, uh, um, this weirdly behaving redstone line on this uh, trapdoor here, two node blocks. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> let's uh, let's do this. So you click the node block, and now we need a redstone here to to update everything. All right, 
can remove that now and you can see this ray line is powered now sitting right next to the portal right now we just flick this trapdoor up redirecting the redstone over away from these node blocks and now we just go ahead and um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And we will use this to mess with green. We will start haunting their places. Let's let's take a quick nap here. I mean, you know, one of the major landmarks of Grian's base is obviously his really, really, really cool nether portal. And I think uh, we should use this little device to mess with it. All right, we're over at uh, Grian's portal right here at the rock. Look at the ugly backside. Man, oh man. <laughs> And yeah, I knocked out his main portal and uh, rigged up a smaller portal diagonal to it and then a bit of railage and here is our update skipping device. And now, uh, yeah, we will shrink his portal a tiny bit. So yeah, lighting it up this way. And uh, now, yeah, let's do our thing. We need a redstone block, maybe. All right. Um, yeah. First things first. All right, rail is updated. Now we flick it back. And uh, now we should be able to break out the first bits of the portal. Where is my pickaxe? Let's use that. And if we knock out this corner here. Yes, perfect. All right, and now we need to reset. So we do redirect, update. Flick the trapdoor back up. We are primed. These uh, rails are also updated already, um, powered by this. But we need to redirect it now using this. And now we suppress here and it skips an update. That's why it's called update skipping. So we suppress here, we skip. This will break and we should be left with one tiny bit of the portal turned around in the middle. So let's see if it works if we break this. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now we can remove all the rest and he'll be coming here and say, like, oh, what? My portal is off. And then he comes up here and finds it tiny. You can't even see it if you look at it like this, but you can we'll still hear it. And then, he, oh man, <laughs> dude, I will haunt them. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Next episode, oh man, <laughs> what we're gonna do to them? It's also a brand new technology. I wanted to show, anyways. It's gonna be, it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be glorious, glorious revenge. Okay, let me uh, quickly clean up here, and uh, then we can look at it. Um, yeah, how it should, supposed <laughs> how Green will discover it. All right, perfect. Looks exactly the same, minus actually being a portal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it works, it's still connected to his old portal. So I don't know how often he uses it or what, but uh, you know, you definitely see that, that the portal is missing and coming up here and be like, what? Hey, you don't snitch, all right? <laughs> we want to see his reaction tries to figure out what the hell happened here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes me already a little bit happy. But, uh, yeah, we're far from done. Far, far from done. You know what annoys me the most, though? <laughs> Looking at the video of Green, right? Man, you know, there is all these little things going on in the background. You have your suspicions, but you're not sure and you don't want to make a big deal out of it because, you know, you don't want to come across like some crazy person that is paranoid. <laughs> Dude, like, I was thinking, 
you know, I should get a lot of copper out of the, you know, walls of the perimeter, right? And before we had the copper farm, I already still needed a lot of copper, you know, for all the builds um, here, the hall of gold and all of that, right? There's copper everywhere. And what I've been doing before, I was just flying around the perimeter walls, looking in the dripstone caves and around them, if I can find copper deposits. And... All of a sudden, I was under the impression, man, why is there so little copper around? I, mean, I was wondering about this for months, literally. And it turns out, <laughs> this guy, this guy over there was actually pillaging and doing the same thing and getting all the copper. You know, I started to hoard. That's why I was starting to build this random copper pillar, which shrunk by now. I farmed it down, but it was tall because I was starting to hoard the copper I could secure because I was thinking, man, the copper thief is loose. Oh, and it was green. And that even bothers me more, you know, that the, that the, 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 the tunnel bore blew up. I mean, you know, I can fix that in a few hours of build time, no worries, but that he was stealing my copper for months. And I never caught him in the act. It's just making me, driving me insane. I will. <laughs> this is just a, this is the stick that broke the camel's back. Or you know, is that a thing you say? I don't even, but it surely broke my camel's back. <laughs> it is like, what the? <sighs> Unbelievable. What an episode. This is not how you envision to come back, you know. <sighs> after, after being sick, you know, I was happy. I wanted to build some stuff. He's like, <sighs> but in the end, we'll embrace it. <laughs> we'll embrace the rage and use it for creativity. It's also finally whoop, a good reason to maybe launch to goat on him, man. <laughs> I just need to somehow get them to watch, it, watch me, you know, riding by and then they think it's harmless. They don't know about the sideways TNT flinger. And if they are somehow in reach, I could probably blast them. <laughs> man, we will get them back. I will, I will drive them crazy. <sighs> but yeah, okay. Today, guys, we break the cycle. Uh, it's Thursday, but, you know, I wanted to get this episode out quick. It was a long enough break already. But we stick with our upload schedule for the Fridays as usual. And this is also what the comment of the day is about. Um, yeah, here by Kat. Uh, thank you so much for your comment. It was also upvoted by a bunch of you guys. That's also what I will pay attention to a little bit when I'm selecting comments. Uh, you know, maybe there's more people interested in it. And it's not really a question, but I want to make a question out of it, kind of. So I really appreciate Doc's super consistent upload schedule, right? Always looking forward to the Fridays. And I quickly want to give you my perspective on that. Like for me, uh, since I have uh, an ex uh, a bigger family now with a child, right, Doki, having a bit of a better routine and a strict schedule really helps me with the with our life here generally. You know, Karen can rely on me to be available on certain days because uh, she knows. Okay, during the week from Monday to Thursday is in hardcore production mode and Friday the episode comes out and he needs to pay a little bit of attention to the comments and stuff, but he's already there for family time. So it helps us, right, to have a, an organized life. So for me, uh, sticking to the schedule is really helpful. I want to get your feedback, though. Um, is, uh, is it good for you to know, hey, every Friday an episode comes out or would you expect, like, I don't know, be more spontaneous, maybe upload uh, with a, score, a shorter, you know, uh, shorter videos, but therefore more. Um, I always struggle with that. I, I Man, I, this video is again about an hour long, but it's only once a week. Some people release three videos per, uh, at 20 minutes. It's also an hour, right? So I always think maybe if you don't have the time to watch the episode in full, you can watch it 20 minutes and then, you know, uh, watch a little bit more the next day or so. But yeah, uh, give me some feedback about length of video and about the uh, consistent upload schedule. Normally always Fridays, but yeah, today is a Thursday. And yeah, you can expect the next episode for Friday when we <laughs> strike fear in the heart of the enemy. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, guys, for all your support. And yeah, all the nice comments, by the way, you left and on Twitter and so on. 
wishing me to get well soon. Much, much appreciated. Um, we're back on track now. Looking forward to the shenanigans that will come from this, man. Oh, man. Pesky neighbors. <laughs> Bye, guys. Make sure to leave a like. See ya.